the damage is done. Sorry, buddy. Not a good idea. I cannot believe that they speak multiple languages and having a little bit of a rest. Rest for six minutes. The third Frozen film, <gasps> which is already underway. Right now we're in Toy Story Land. It's located in Fantasyland. When you walk through the castle, right next to Small World, you can see it peeking throughout the park. You can even see it looking at the castle when you walk in. This thing is epic. We are ready to go. We've got our outfits. Will you show your outfit? She's got her little Elsa vibe going on. And of course, I'm the Anna to her Elsa. But it is just about time, you guys. I might cry. Can we tell the guards to open up the gates? Yes. Tell the guards to open up the gate. Are these the gates or are those the gates? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Frozen. Oh my god! The castle! Hey, listen. <gasps> They're playing Open Up the Gates, the music. Oh my god. And she ran away to escape on a long journey towards the road. <gasps> <laughs> Will do. Thank you, Krista. The touches of detail in this place. All right. Here you go. Frozen ever after. Come on, I know we do. So sparkly. You know, I said the things you love. No, I don't. See the dog. You're the guy. Wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the. Oh my gosh, we're in, you guys. We are in. We just got a tour of the entire thing, and I want to show you guys also. World of Frozen is the first and largest Frozen themed land to open at any Disney park, and it opens its gates to the public starting November 20th. You don't need any additional admission or anything, it's just another land inside of Hong Kong Disneyland. I will say it's a lot cheaper to visit Hong Kong Disneyland than it is Disneyland in the Americas. Tickets here go for about $70 per person. Just look up what the cost is right now to go to the one in California. But this is Arendelle, you guys. Welcome to Arendelle. Right when you walk in, you're greeted with the fountain of friendship here, which one thing me and Lily were talking about this yesterday, Hong Kong Disneyland loves its fountains. You can tell there's fountains everywhere inside of Hong Kong Disneyland. So here's another one. Right to the left of this, this is Northern Delights. We actually just got some sweet treats from there. Lilia is about to open hers. <laughs> no, no marshmallow. Oh wait, oh my God. Marshmallow is a marshmallow. Others. That's not all they have though. They have actually let me show you northern delights inspired by the northern lights from frozen But they just have all kinds of goodies in here that they've got there 
chocolate. <laughs> they also got a whole wall of chocolate, as you can see right here. Some kitchen things over here, but look at the goodies. That's what you guys really want to see, or at least me anyway. Candy apple, Northern Delights chocolates, Olaf muffins. Everything is themed beyond belief here. The Olaf muffin, the North Mountain almond tart, Olaf celebration cake. They also have some quick serve treats right outside of it. Lilia tried the coronation sunday and I tried the summer snow day soft serve. Delish. To my understanding, you can also get your arm or your face painted as well. I have my little arm thing they did earlier this morning, but one thing I love about this though is look around you guys. Everyone is dressed for the occasion. I've seen some of the best dressed people in the park. Down to every single detail this place is so on point. We've got the Norway inspired mid 19th century looking buildings around here. Inside here we've got the Golden Crocus Inn is the main food service place here. They've got four main choices here on the menu as well as a kids meal, but the Fanta from here, they sell like this blue peach flavored Fanta here. And I think it's my favorite drink I've had in the park yet. It was so good. And they have examples of all the food here, which I've noticed they do this outside of a lot of the Hong Kong Disneyland restaurants, which I personally love. I just love knowing what it's gonna look like before I get it. So here's some examples of the food. Then we have Frozen Ever After, which is one of the two attractions here inside of World of Frozen. Frozen Ever After is very similar to the one in Disney World, if you've been on that Frozen ride, very similar. But the one that's very different is Wonder and Oak and Slide and Slay. So that is a family friendly roller coaster that goes through that mountain right there behind me. TikTok Toys and Collections, this shop. I just want to go on Frozen Ever After again. You want to do it again? Okay, right, let's do it. Yellow. Okay, we're going to go on the ride again. I mean, when else are we ever going to be able to just walk onto this ride? <laughs> Get it, girl. Work. Oh. Oh. Hello. What do you think of the clothes we're going to do now? Oh, okay, now that we know that there's a photo at the end, let's do um, your classic, Lily's classic. She does that for everything. Yeah, let's go. Okay, and look at each other. I do. We're the only ones on the phone. Hey, Ola. Give all up to ourselves. We tried. So the shop is called TikTok Toys and Collectibles and they have so many cute things. We've refrained from shopping too much in here because we wanted to wait until a little bit later, but now is later, so let's see what we can find. I need these ears. Necessity. Absolute yes. Slay. Hate that. Hate that. Will you wear one of these with your sister? It's no much fun. One thing that I've noticed here in Hong Kong Disney is I don't see a lot of people wearing Mickey ears. There are some, but for the most part, I see people wearing things like this, like a little Olaf, but they have different characters on top of them. So that is like one major difference I've noticed between these two parts. So as you can see, they sell Olaf now as well, but they also have Duffy, which is huge here. Duffy and Friends is like their main thing, it seems like here in this part. And I think most people in America don't even really know what Duffy is. So definitely look that up if you're planning on for visiting. Sure. See, this is what I was talking about. They also have Anna and Elsa. These are also huge throughout this park. They have these like huge head wear things. The damage is done. <laughs> Off to the North Mountain. Oh wait, the North Mountain's right here. Are you good? Hello! Happy summer snow day, pets. Thank you so much. You just like Elsa and Anna. Thank you, we tried. You look just like Oaken. <laughs> my training place today? Not yet. It's just across the bridge over by the mountains there. We're gonna be there. Excellent. I hope to see you there and be sure to visit the sauna later. We will. Thank you so much. Summer snow day, friends. Thank you. As we're walking over to the other side of Arendelle though, this is the Arendelle Bay, where you can usually meet Oaken standing right there. We had him a few, quite a few times today as well. I think this is the only place we haven't explored yet, the forest. Is this the forest? It is the forest! What is this? It's Bruni. Hey there, how are you doing? Are you hoping it's gonna turn into a troll? It is a troll. Oh, it is a troll. Yeah, make a up. Exactly, <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> okay, you're right, you're right. Sorry, buddy. Who are you sitting on? Next we're gonna head over to the Playhouse in the Woods, which is supposed to be some kind of interactive show. I'm not quite sure what that means, but let's go find out. 
Summer snow day blowout. This is what Oaken's selling. Oh, he has onions like woohoo in the sauna. Be back soon. Gosh, this place is magical. Oh, Bruni. This is very much a family friendly roller coaster. It's very short, not too thrilling, but still a really fun roller coaster. Like, it's literally good for all ages and not too scary. As you hear people screaming, I promise it's not. Very similar to Gadget's Go Coaster. Or I guess, isn't it Chippendales now? Chippendales Go Coaster now. Like a is that you, Oaken? Are you in the sauna? Oh, it is. <laughs> These look like the designs for the ride. And they're trying to figure out how to power the sled. So, note, he has buckets for helmets. Hopefully they give us one. Play design, use extra cranes for a ride. Can use extra barrels, but only one person at a time. Some designs here, and how long can Sven run for? Uh, that is strong. Prepare extra carry. <laughs> okay, that's his incentive for getting Sven to run fast so that the slaves can go. All right. How much does Olaf like his nose? Not a good idea. Better idea. There it is in action. Okay, the working. We're going up. We got Sven and maybe Kristoff's or Oaken's. I'm not sure. Footsteps leading up to Oaken's shop. The details of this place, like there is not a single detail missed. There's so much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Oh, wrong car. I cannot believe that a place like this exists. 10 out of 10, you guys put it on your bucket list. We're now on our way out of Arendelle though and heading back into Hong Kong Disneyland. There's a show here called Mickey and the Wondrous Book, which is supposed to be phenomenal that we're gonna head over to right now. There's a few things here that are just solely Duffy related and they are the most popular things in the park.
you right here, this jet lag is hard to overcome, but officially made it to 8 p.m. to catch the nighttime spectacular here in Hong Kong Disneyland. It's called Momentous. It's their like firework show. So we're right here in front of the castle, which castle at Hong Kong Disneyland is honestly, it might be my new favorite. Gorgeous, there's so many elements to it. The weather's perfect. We're right on time. I'm gonna cry. I might cry. I will cry. today is my favorite Disney bound anyone has ever done in the history of life. Can I just show you for a second? Oh, we're ma'am, queen. I mean, you're not a queen, you're Olaf, you're a snowman. But look at this outfit, like are we for real? We are doing Frozen theme bounds again today because we are about to head back into the world of Frozen. We are staying at the lovely Disney's Explorers Lodge here in Hong Kong. It has treated us very well. I'm really sad that we're leaving in the morning. We've had such a busy time these last few days though we are here for the premiere of the world of frozen so we were invited we are hosted by disney and it is so much fun but it's also very very organized we have an itinerary that we're following it is so much fun and what we're about to do right now though it might be i don't know i was gonna say it's my favorite but i honestly don't even know i loved every second of it we get to go meet with an imagineer right now to go find out facts about the world of frozen that nobody knows yet so one of the imagineers that worked on the land everywhere here in hong kong disneyland they whoop, <laughs> they speak multiple languages. It seems like there's three that they are constantly speaking and every single thing that we do here is translated in multiple different ways. Like, the sh for example, the show that we saw yesterday, the show was partially in English, partially in, I think it's Cantonese. I'm pretty sure that's what their main language is here. There's also another language that they're translating it to, which I'm not too sure what it is, but they have subtitles. Like, it's very, very, very easy to get around here. I would say it's actually easier to get around here than it was in Disneyland Paris for us. The language barrier is shocking smaller than it was in Paris. So we're currently leaving our hotel room. We're gonna walk over to the shuttle. It's about a five minute drive over to the park. Shuttle's right outside of our hotel. Short trip on the bus later. We are at the little bus station hub right in front of the resort. As you can see. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I must say the weather on this whole entire trip has been 
so perfect. Like, I don't know if it's always like this in November in Hong Kong, but if it is, this is the time to travel. It's been absolutely beautiful. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Here we go. and head back over. We got to hang out a little bit and do a few other rides where we're about to head back because we have a very special event that we're attending right now. It is the opening ceremony for the World of Frozen. Ooh, there's a, wow, there's a lot of people there. We're making our way over there now. I have a feeling this is gonna be really, really cool. performance by the Royal Choir of Arendelle. Here, you'll be able to explore your favorite sights, eat your favorite food, and meet your favorite friend. Please welcome to the stage, Chairman Disney Experiences, Josh Damaro, and the writer, director of the Frozen Films, Chief Creative Officer, Walt Disney Animation Studios, Jennifer Lee. This is a big day for all of us at Disney Experiences. A decade ago, at Disney Animation, there was a small group of us dreaming about a story about two sisters. We could not have imagined back then that audiences around the world would embrace the story of Frozen and take it into their hearts as they have. Our Imagineers worked with Jen's team at Disney Animation to ensure that World of Frozen transports you to another world. Well now, I please welcome CEO of the Walt Disney Company, Bob Iger. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you very much, Josh. And good evening, everyone. I am so thrilled to be with all of you in Arendelle, our first frozen land, place that could only be created by Disney. Ten years ago, Jen gave us a tremendous gift with her beautiful film, Frozen, which became an instant classic and a worldwide phenomenon. Then she went and did it all over again a few years later with Frozen 2. And now we are incredibly excited about the third Frozen film, <gasps> which is already underway at Disney Animation Studios. <laughs> World of Frozen fulfills the dreams of anyone who has ever wanted to step into the screen and walk through the gates of Arendelle. So say hello to Queen Anna and Queen Elsa. to the kingdom of Arendelle. Consider you kindred spirits, welcome visitors, and loyal friends. So, is it time to stop? <laughs> oh. Hi. Hello. Look, everyone. It's... I'm Olaf. You <laughs> know who you are, silly.
passports are available. I'll double check that when I get downstairs. But I checked both of them before I packed the bills. Do we need private confirmation numbers? I think that's it. Let's kiss goodbye to China. Bye, Hong Kong. You've done us. So well, but I'm ready to be back home. It's officially Thanksgiving break for everybody. So, woohoo, Olaf! You wanna come to America? Take me out to California, where the sun is always high, where the streets are paved with gold, and no one ever gets old. from Hong Kong. Yay! For all of you guys, you wanna see what I got you? Then a sign upon a hill The wine is flowing And the fields forever green I miss you guys so much.